Salutations Legion, this is Why You Merch, and today I have some of the Halloween line from Lush. And a few mainline items. I got a few of them last time, but I decided to get more of them today. Let's start with the mainline stuff. So we have the Sleepy Shower Gel. This is Lavender, Tonka, and Elan Elan. It's a very floral scent. I already opened it and removed the seal because I recorded this part <laughs> already in the some of the shower gel spilled here. I hope you don't mind. And you can see it's this pastel purple, kind of bluish purple color. And it's very watery and at the same time very creamy. Not a shower gel that you can see through. It smells very mild, so I think if you're new to Lush, this would be a shower gel that I would recommend because it doesn't surprise, I think, something that I think anyone would like. This is the Bright and Beautiful, I think it's a face scrub, I'm not actually sure what's in it. All I know is that it's purple, and it smells very floral. It just straight up smells like a bouquet of flowers. I decided to pick it up only because it looked so pretty in the container, and I haven't tried it before, so just wanted to see what it was like. Can you hear the grittiness? in the cap of the sample pot. Then we have a sample of Ultra Plant. Ultra Plant. Wait, I said it sounded weird. Um, this is a cleanser. Um, it's meant to remove your makeup. This is um, a sample that I've gotten before, but I liked it so much that I decided to get another small sample of it. Um, I don't actually need very much, so I don't think that I need to get the entire container. It's only really for my eye makeup because Eyeliner and a mascara, if it's waterproof, is really difficult to remove. But somehow this removes it pretty easily. Now let's open up some of the bags. This is the Screamo bath bomb. And this has Elan Elan almond oil and a benzoin resinoid. It looks like, you know, the screaming face in, um, like the, the painting, the scream. I think that's what it's supposed to resemble, but I could be wrong. It has this bluish, purplish in color. It's more closer to blue. You can see there's a little bit of glitter. And on the front, it's not completely white, it's like, kind of beige. I think this will look really pretty in the water. And it's not very floral. It's... Mm, not sure, really. 
it, the almond oil is probably what's the strongest thing here. This next item is pretty similar. This is called Screaming Banshee. And it is grapefruit, apple, almond oil, and gardenia. This smells really good. When I picked it up in the store, I immediately wanted to get it. But that's just because I like anything that has apple in it from Lush. Um, very rare thing that they use, but it always has a good result. I think it's uh, kind of cute. There's something relatable about it. I too am screaming. Not at the moment, but internally. This smells really good. So, so we have this sort of minty green banshee face and the rest of the body is similar blue to the Screamo bath bomb. I imagine the water is going to be just blue when these two colors mix, it's just going to be a nice shade of blue. It's raining bath bomb dust. So our next one is the Bubble Gosi Bubble Bar. And it's shaped like this cute little vampire face. It actually glows in the dark, so this white part here, you will Put this under a bright light and watch it glow in the dark. Um, I don't know if the, the purple part here or the red part here glows, but most of this bubble bar will glow in the dark. And it feels like it's melting in my hands right now. So this probably has a lot of oil in it. It has blackberry and bergamot oil. It smells very fruit-like, very like, it, sm it smells like heavy, but not um, overbearing. I can imagine this scent will probably take over um, if you were using something with it, like a bath bomb. I'm just trying to get all the dust off my hands. I will not tap on this because it's crumbling and melting in my hands. <laughs> But um, if you aren't using, the, if you aren't just using this, it will make the water slightly glow. It really depends on how long you left the um, the bubble bar in sunlight, not sunlight, in bright lights. But I imagine as soon as it hits like warm water, it probably stops. Now the next one is the bonehead bubble bar. Look how cute. A little skeleton guy, a skull. And this is actually spearmint scented, which I would probably associate more with Christmas. But as soon as I saw this in the store and I picked it up and smelled it, I had to get it because you know how much I love minty things. If you really want the toothpaste experience in your bath, just get this. If you too enjoy sniffing toothpaste, then get this. No, I'm, I'm joking. Um, it's, it kind of reminds me of like a chewing gum that's mint. Uh, just a fresh, clean scent. I honestly can't wait to use this. And I think it's just gonna work with any bath bomb that you want to combine it with, because it is just a white bubble bar. So this has a lot of flexibility with what you can pair it with. It's eating a little piece of the bubble bar. And next up we have the UFO bath bomb. It's this big hefty bath bomb that's shaped like a flying saucer. And you can actually open the top of it. This is a bath bomb of its own, and inside there is some salt and popping candy, I think. Or maybe it might just be salt. But this is 
blackcurrant, lemongrass, lemon, and gardenia. To me, I think it just straight up smells like lemon. Here, do you want to hear the sound of the uh, salt in the middle? Well, you don't really have a choice. split the little flying saucer in half and you get like two baths out of it. Probably one with salt and one without. <laughs> and the last one is this bath bomb called Pumpkin Pumpkin and this is cinnamon, lime, orange, and pumpkin. Very warm scent, perfect for fall. It's a cute little jack o' lantern. Probably the most Halloween item that they have. And mine looks like it's about to split on the stem here. I think I might pair it up with this. Just, I think it might balance it out. I don't think it would smell very good with that though. Maybe I can stand it up like this. Ooh, that looks nice. It kind of looks creepy in the lighting. I'll put it like that. And, well, that is all that I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you